you know, how do you make sure that you're um, meeting your your time for labor, material, and so on? Uh, one of the, I think, the best screens or one of the best areas within D365 is we go to the production control module and you look at all production orders. Or if you're in your workspace and you click on production orders. So production orders obviously come in here and you have your different statuses, your estimated, it's estimated cost, it's estimated labor costs, scheduled, it has scheduled for looking for capacity and, and available resources and resource groups and capabilities started, the material's been started and is actually things start getting pushed into WIP as far as, you know, materials being issued to that production order and, um, you know, getting consumed out of inventory. So one of the statuses that I think is has been confusing over time is there's, there's two things. One, there's an actual process called report as finish. This report as finish is really, you're just, reporting operations you're reporting good things into in you know finished goods into inventory that's this process this creates a report as finished journal which then moves material around the status sometimes gets confused of what is reported as finish so what this to me represents and in, in most of the the companies i've worked with is this reported as finished is really manufacturing saying that we're done. And so we've issued all the material, we've, we've, we've processed everything um, that, you know, we've had 37, we have a remainder of zero, we're done. So at this point in time, this can be reviewed prior to ending. Now, we should all know if, if you have any experience with AX or D365 is once you end an order, there's no going back. So if somebody comes back in and says, hey, you know, I made a mistake, guys. Um, I need to issue this, this one more plate to this production order. If the order's ended, it's, you cannot go back and reopen that order. So when an order is set to report as finished, manufacturing has brought it to this status. They haven't ended. Ending normally is done with kind of a financial costing type thing. But this is where a manufacturing manager can really get into the this screen. And if he was to take, maybe on a daily basis, <clears throat> And to just filter down the orders that are in a report as finished status, he'd probably want to come in to determine, did they over issue? Did they under issue? Are we on track? And so really one of the main tools to do this is under the manage cost section, calculations, view calculation details. So this view calculation details under the overview costing right here, what it does is it really gives you a breakdown of everything that was costed to this order. So obviously the finished good is the D0007. The bomb components to make the finished good um, are these two. And then we also have surcharges and actually this isn't the greatest example. I'm gonna go back to the other one. Let's take a look at this guy. And <clears throat> manage cost, view calculation details. This is a better example because this actually has these process steps. So here's your resources. And then you have different overhead um, or indirect cost and, and other rates. So once again, this item um, is the finished good. They wanna make one and here's all of the bomb components and here are each resource step. So if we go back to the overview costing, you can see that <clears throat> the production orders was for a quantity of 10, but really this top line right here is estimated cost. So at time of, at time of <clears throat> estimating the production order, 
it went out and it looked at all of the bill of material items. It looked at the route and basically came up with, you know, an estimated cost to produce 10 of these. So in other words, we've got all these items, we have all these resources, each one has an estimation breakdown. So the sum of all these lines equals the top line, okay? So now as journals are posted against that order for route cards, job cards, uh, picking lists, um, that's when this realized cost amount starts populating in. So as a manufacturing manager, this is a good screen to come in and understand because if I'm an estimated cost of what this is and my shop, my managers are, are telling me that they're done with this order and you have a large difference around this realized cost to the estimated cost, you know you have a problem as well as, well, you know that this product you know, estimated it at a quantity of 10, but your realized consumption was only a quantity of nine, you're gonna have a, a, a price difference, price variance. So before you indicate to finance or costing, this is a good tool to realize that your estimate versus your realized cost amount um, are on track. And you can catch things before you end, which once again, once you end the order, there's no going back. So this is around, you know, this is a, once again, a great tool for, for the costing side.